Welcome to BHR Law Group. I'm Blaine Birch, and I am a certified specialist in estate planning trust and probate law. Today we're going to talk about pet trusts. A pet trust really isn't a trust set aside for your pet, but making sure that you have provisions in your trust to take care of your pet if anything happens to you. Here in Orange County, pets are a big deal with most families. And so are you taking into account your pet in your estate plan? What happens if you're unable to take care of your pet or if you pass away? Uh, will anyone be willing and able to take care of your pet for you? It's a very important question and it's one that needs to be addressed. Unfortunately, it's also overlooked in a lot of estate planning. So how do we take care of this? Basically, we add provisions to your revocable living trust that create a small trust for your pet. Uh, in this trust, we state who takes care of your pet physically. Uh, we set aside a certain amount of money for your pet. And then we say how those assets are to be used and then you can have a residual beneficiary, meaning once your pet has used up what it needs from the pet trust or passes away, the assets can then go to the other beneficiaries. Those are the main decisions that you have to make with any pet trust. So if you have a pet or furry friend in your home and you wanna make sure that they're taken care of, make sure that you talk to your estate planning attorney when you're creating your estate plan to have a pet trust or provisions for your pet added to your revocable living trust. I have a blog on this as well, so you can go to our website to check that out. Thanks.